Hi, this is Rafe Needleman from Webware.com. I'm here with Josh Lowenson of Webware.com, Eric Ogg from News.com. We're at the Web2 Expo at the Moscone Center in San Francisco looking at uh, way too many web apps in a superheated, almost bubble-like environment of uh, Web2.0 hype. It is so frothy here that uh, people can't hire enough developers. There are help-wanted signs above the urinals. I wish I was making this up, but I'm not, sadly. But there are 115 companies here, and we've picked our, the five top companies that we like from this conference. Uh, we're going to start, Josh, with you and uh, your top picks. Uh, I really like Tell Me. Uh, now this is a voice company that recently got bought up by Microsoft. Uh, they do voice services for uh, cell phones, and one of their new services just announced today is a new mobile phone app for people with Verizon or Singular phones. And uh, people can download this, it's free to use. Um, it uses data, but if you have a data plan, it's great. Uh, it gives you phone numbers, it gives you addresses, and it even gives you directions. So it's better than Google Mobile? Oh, totally. I mean, Google Mobile is really great for getting free phone numbers, but if you want to get directions to someone's house and a map to get there, it'll do that for you. And you can share the data as well? Yep, you can share it with other, uh, other Tell Me users or your uh, people on your phone book. Cool, and you, uh, anything else you like? Yeah, I really like Octopus. Uh, now this is a really, really slick, flash-based application uh, for collaborative sharing. So uh, designers can use this, small business groups can use this. You can share media files like uh, documents, uh, videos, pictures, all sorts of things. And uh, the really great part is it has VoIP, so voice over IP, so you can talk to each other for free. And you also have video sharing. Mm -hmm. so, so compared to uh, Concept Share? Yeah, it's a lot like Concept Share. Uh, the difference is those extended media features. They okay. really stand out. And uh, Erica? Well, I really, really liked Dapper. Dapper is a service that launched at the end of last year, and basically it lets you take content from anywhere on the web and put and put it into any form you want it. So basically it lets you make your own widgets for free for any anybody who wants to. It's very easy. You can go to any website like news.com and you can make it into, say, a NetVibes module. Um, it's a little hiccupy, you could use a little bit of work, but I really like the idea. Great, thank you. Uh, we also like here uh, Coghead, which is a database development platform, which doesn't sound that interesting, but every business almost needs a database of some sort. It's 100% web-based, so people can go to our site, can quickly create an application and deploy it to anybody they want on the internet. The key is you don't need to be a developer. You can be someone who's very close to a business problem and easily create a, a web-based application. Very powerful application, very simple to use, and I was, I was quite impressed with Coghead. Uh, and finally, the talk of the show, uh, our last pick, and the most interesting in many ways, is Spock. Spock. Spock is a people search engine. It's a definite acquisition target, but what Spock lets you do is search for either a particular person or a category of people, and it will give you uh, a results page that shows you the person's uh, picture, uh, maybe a bio, some information on them, tags that other users have put on that person, uh, and all the sources of information for that person. People can claim their own page and decide what information goes on that. Spock at some point could be the, be the uh, basis of a, its own social network, even though at the moment it's reading all the information in from other social networks and sources. Very powerful application. We're really looking forward to this one rolling out. So those are our top five from the Web 2.0 Expo. And uh, speaking for Josh and Erica, we'll see you at the next event. And uh, thanks for watching webware.com. Webware. <laughs>